man, I'm at the National Harbor enjoying myself. It's so nice out here. You know. Oh, wow. I gotta get her number. Hold on. Hey, um, can I get your number? Please? I really appreciate the comments. First off, I want to say that this is the Summers Now, Rufus Patterson. You already know the deal, so I'm going to give it to you. But a question is sticking out a little bit to me, and it, it concerns me a little bit. So I'm going to address it. Address it anyway. Um, where's my drink? Ah, I'm going to put my phone in the bucket. So, you know, a lot of people complain. They say they don't have time for themselves. They're... You know, everybody's depending on them. They need to do this, they need to do that, and all that cool stuff. Well, here's the reality. You're an, you're an adult now. You know what I mean? That's one of the cool perks of being an adult. You don't have time for yourself. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, you grow up and you never have time for yourself. That's just what it is. You know, you start having kids, you get a dog, you get some responsibility, you buy that cool, fancy car, you know, that nice house in that neighborhood. You sign up for these little, you know, events and stuff like that, you know, to get yourself out the house and all that cool stuff. So you never have time for yourself. It is what it is. But then you find out that, you know, the event was supposed to be something that you enjoyed, but it became more like a chore to do. I understand that. And I'm, I'm going to be mindful here because I don't want to put people's names in this, but it's, it's very important that you hear this. So first, I want to say something about depression and being depressed. A couple signs of depression. I'm no doctor, I'm no physician, but I wanna put this out there. If your sleeping habits have changed, lack of sleep, you can't sleep, certain things that you had a passion for, you don't like anymore, you used to love watching my videos, now you don't like them at all, you might be depressed. But in all honesty, if you feel like you may be depressed and you have something called depression, you should always seek medical attention. Um, seek a doctor or a physician. Uh, talk to someone, a nurse practitioner, you know, talk to one of them and see about getting some help, some assistance to help you out with that. That's nothing to play with. Depression is nothing to play with. But now on the flip side, I want to talk about this. Um, if you're one of those people that, you know, you're so focused internally on how people see you. I'm just being honest. You know, I'm reading the comments, I'm reading the messages you're sending me, and I don't think, I'm just going to be honest here, you know, I appreciate every every subscriber, I appreciate everybody that's watching me and all that stuff, but until you learn to put yourself first, then you will never understand me, like you will never, you'll never see what this vision is I'm trying to portray to everyone, um, and that's why the motto is, uh, you know, enjoy you, enjoy life, and enjoy fitness in that order. If you don't put yourself first, you're going to find yourself saying things like this. Life is just passing me by, you know, because you're going to see life is just literally going by, you know. I'm asking you, for me, for you, for whomever, get out there and learn yourself. People don't stop learning. You think because you're 30 years old, you're 20 years old, you're 40, you're 50 years old, you're 60 years old, that there aren't new things that you enjoy? You, you think that for 10 years straight, you just stay the same? Like you don't change at all. So your body is growing, but mentally, you know, you haven't formed any new habits or any new things that you like. Is that what you feel? Because I got a news flash for you. If that's how you feel, you don't know you at all you know what i mean get out especially like places like dc you got the national harbor you got the wharf now you got the free museums you got all sorts of stuff that you can go to and go check out and you know just get out a little bit and check out the opportunities and the, the things to do out there it's a lot of free things you don't need money to do it you don't and, and look a lot of these things you can do with people you can do with a dog you can do with kids you know what i mean it, it, it let it be about the kids I'm not saying to take away from kids I'm not at all I'm not saying that 
But what I am saying is, let it be about them, but let it be about you too. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you can go to the museum and say, okay, look, we're going to go to the dinosaur museum. The kids like dinosaurs. It's got to be something you like up in there. You know what I mean? It might be the video. It might be, you know, what they got going on, how they made it, how, where the dinosaurs come from. Hey, can you get a backstage tour? Something like that, you know, or go to that museum and then go to another museum. You know, how do you know? Have you been kayaking? Have you been stand-up boarding? You know, that's the thing where it looks like a surfboard. They standing up on it. You're like, nah, I ain't messing with that water, right? But my point is, you don't know that you don't like it. You don't know. You know, they got websites like meetup.com. And I'm not telling you, the cool thing about meetup is if you sign up for something on there or something like DC Frey, DCFRAY.com. No endor I'm not endorsing it. Like, they're not sponsoring me at all. But what I am saying is I've dealt with these websites before and they've helped me to meet people. And you may not always want to meet people, but one of the cool things is I signed up for a softball team on there on DC Frey one time. And I could go to the games when I wanted to go. If you don't feel like going, you don't have to go. Like, you're not obligated to go play softball. You just paid and, you know, which means if you show up, you show up, which is cool. Like, I would, this is, this is, if you're one of those people that has a gym membership, right? You already know where I'm going. If you got that gym membership and you've had that same membership or you've switched gyms and you've been to that gym maybe two times, in the last month or two but you constantly paying this gym membership i want to challenge you to something because in all honesty i'm, I'm just going to be real here i know a lot of people that go work out in the gym and there's nothing wrong with that but i want to challenge you to get out and go try some outdoor stuff like look up yoga look up hot yoga have you done that before you so say you don't want to get hot. Okay, cool. Whatever the case may be. You know that you like something, but you got to at least try. Make yourself interesting to yourself. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? They got all these bikes that you can rent out here. Like everybody tries to find a parking spot next to wherever they're trying to go and park somewhere. And put the car in and get that free bike and take it for a ride. You know what I mean? And ride around and just enjoy yourself. We got like certain like hotels out here. And a quick shout out to the Gaylord, which is right up here. Um, you can walk around the hotel. Hotels always got events going on. Like the convention centers. Look those up. Just get out a little bit. You know what I mean? Just because you're an adult doesn't mean that a weekend isn't a weekend anymore. You know what I mean? Like when is the last time you got up and just jumped in the car and went for a ride? Let's just go. Let's go look. Let's just go drive a little bit. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody got time for that. I know. I know. I know. I know. Look, but I'm just saying, and you know who you are. You know, a couple of you are asking the same thing, just in different ways. But this is me. What time is it? Where's my Where's my phone? So it's 510. Um, I went to get a haircut earlier. I've been sitting out here just enjoying myself, looking at the Ferris wheel. Um, just enjoying life. You know what I mean? Figuring out what it is that I like to do. And it's not costing me anything. You know what I mean? And, and, and the benefit of it is making me feel so much better. You know what I mean? F the world. It's about you. That's it. You know? And I know we adults. We learning and all that stuff. But I think it's... And I don't want to keep rambling on. But it's, it's the truth. Because if you're holding on to things. Like material things. Material, being materialistic these fancy cars and you know these big homes and stuff like that and you're getting caught in this hole where you have nothing to do but work because you have to pay these bills that's a decision you may deal with it but know that it will eventually be over and that doesn't mean that you have to be in a slump just because you have to do that like i said it's a whole bunch of free stuff out here man like it's a whole bunch of free stuff go buy yourself some weed or something you know smoke it I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm not telling you you're gonna smoke weed. That was a joke, but that's the truth, man. You know, that's 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 all I have. You know, I appreciate y'all watching, I appreciate your support. We gotta get back to these videos. I got some band videos going up today. Um, enjoy you, enjoy life, and enjoy fitness in that order. Rufus Patterson, the summer is now. You dig?